guys, it's the Budget Epicurean, and today I've got for you a super simple but very fancy sounding appetizer. Goat cheese stuffed figs and dates with balsamic drizzle and sage. Okay, that's a lot of words, but super easy, I promise. You're gonna look like so fancy if you do this. All you need is some dried Mediterranean fruits. I've got dates and figs. Um, dates are these little guys. And figs, you know, the things that Fig Newtons uh, are made of, that's what these are. And they're already pre-dried, super sweet, chewy, wonderful flavor, so, so good for you. Tons of fiber and antioxidants and all kinds of healthy stuff, right? And then I've got a uh, Greek yogurt-ish thing called Skier. Um, so it's, It's basically what my store had, because they didn't um, have just straight up logs of goat cheese, but mm, this plain, unflavored, nice and thick. Um, you can also use cream cheese, I guess, if you had to, but I love the tang of goat cheese. It's really gonna kind of bring this all together. Got my spoon for said goat cheese, and of course, uh, some sage leaves fresh from the garden. Not absolutely required, but uh, I like their smell and flavor and I think it just complements this whole thing nicely. Um, you can drizzle it with honey at the end if you want it a little sweeter. I'm gonna leave it alone because I uh, know that the dried fruits themselves are already pretty darn sweet. Um, and then at the end when they're just about ready to serve, I'm gonna drizzle it with just a hint of some balsamic vinegar. And you're gonna wanna use pretty high quality vinegar because a lot of the flavor uh, comes from how long they let it steep, basically. So just diced up my sage because I'm going to sprinkle that on top when I'm done. All you do is cut your fruits in half and then half again so they kind of open up in this little star shape, right? Give you that little hit down in the middle and that's what we're going to stuff. So it doesn't take much, right? You just need a teeny little bit of the goat cheese. Stuff that down in there. So it's sort of like cream cheese stuffed jalapenos, right? But dessert-like because this is going to be sweet and delicious. You just lay them in there like that. And then we're going to bake them uh, at 350. Not very long at all. Maybe five, seven minutes. Just enough to get the cheese a little bit melty. Look, this guy's practically hollow all the way through. Um, and that's it. And then when you lay them out on a platter and you or your guests try them for the first time, it's going to be a life-changing moment and you're going to want to move to the Mediterranean where they eat like this all the time. So this is mostly just a matter of patience. Chop your little guys open, stuff it with the cheese. We'll sprinkle on the sage right at the end. Um, followed by the balsamic, because I don't want to burn the sage in the oven. So I usually save the fresh herbs for just a sprinkle at the very end. Um, for the figs, same kind of deal. Slice it one way, and then the other. Open her up. Oh, look at that, gorgeous. So putting it in the oven with the cheese will kind of caramelize the sugars that are naturally in the fruit. I'm very excited to eat these. And the lovely thing about figs is that they're flat on the bottom, so they'll even like sit up on their own while you're roasting in the oven. It's pretty cool. Okay, so we're ready to take our figs and dates out of the oven. There we go. The cheese is just a little melty. And can we move 
move them to our serving tray. Oh yeah, look at that. Gooey gooey, cheesy goodness. Like. And there you have it. Now if you also want to use um, some honey, that would be great here. Uh, especially if you have fresh figs, then it won't be as sweet as dry. Um, so honey is a good choice. And I'm also going to top with just a hint of sea salt because it brings out the flavor and everything. And there you have it. So hopefully you enjoyed this super simple party appetizer and that your party guests will too.